Millions of gardeners are putting their green fingers at risk of serious skin disease, according to new research. In fact, over a quarter of gardeners and growers suffer from some sort of skin condition, such as hand eczema, and yet two-thirds admit they fail to protect their hands adequately. As an eczema sufferer and a gardener, I'm going to let you know what can cause these problems and what you can do to avoid them. Gardeners are at risk of developing hand dermatitis, a form of hand eczema from certain plants commonly grown in gardens and allotments, so you need to know which plants these are. You can get an allergic reaction from members of the daisy family, such as chrysanthemums. Other plants that can cause allergic reactions include alstroemerias, greenhouse primulas, tulips and even English ivy. Plants that can irritate the skin are a more common cause of hand eczema. For instance, this euphorbia has a sap which is particularly irritating. The sap reacts with sunlight which causes the skin to become hypersensitive to ultraviolet light. This is known as phytophotodermatitis. Sadly, more than 1 in 10 gardeners are forced to stop gardening because of skin conditions such as hand eczema. To avoid problems like these, wear a pair of gardening gloves. It sounds obvious, but less than a third of gardeners always wear gloves to protect their hands. It's not just plants that you need to look out for. The drying effects of soil and frequent exposure to water can also trigger hand eczema. To protect against this, make sure you moisturise your hands regularly. Use something that's free from fragrances and preservatives. The fewer the ingredients, the better. Finally, if you do suffer from a skin problem such as hand eczema, see a dermatologist or specialist as soon as possible. More than two thirds of gardeners end up seeking professional medical help because their skin condition is so severe. There's also a website, myhandexma.co.uk where people can get information about causes, management and treatment of hand eczema. I know from experience that the longer you leave it, the more severe the skin condition can get. And when the summer comes round, there's nothing more frustrating than being forced to stay out of the garden.